Alrighty, so happy Friday guys. Uh, as everybody knows, Fridays on this channel means it's donut review time. Um, I've got my coffee this week and I actually bought it from the, uh, the donut shop. Oh, and they actually have some marketing on the coffee. So today's donuts are brought to you by Daylight Donuts and Cafe in Hilliard, Ohio. Let's see if that'll focus. There you go. Daylight Donuts Cafe in Hilliard, Ohio. Um, this place uh, was a little bit hard to find. Um, I've never heard of the place before. I used my GPS to get there, and even with the GPS, I didn't even I didn't quite realize I was there. Um, it's part of one of those um, apartment communities where they they build these uh, multi-level apartments. And then on the bottom floor, they have shops and stuff. So this place was, it's right off a of cemetery road, but um, you can't really see it from the road. It's, it's a little bit confusing. So you'll have that, which makes me worry that they're not going to be around for that long because it looked, I think it'd be hard to, uh, I don't know, to get people to come in. But it's kind of a neat little concept because there's a taco place next door. Um, and then around the corner was some kind of fitness place. I think having fitness and tacos and donuts all in the same building are, uh, that's a great choice. So without further ado, let's get to the donuts. All right. So here is the glazed donut for today. I'd say that's um, slightly larger than medium. Um, I don't know, a little bit bigger than normal, but not still not something I would call large. Here's what the bottom looks like. So on this glazed donut, it doesn't look like they flipped it over and glazed both sides. I think they just glazed it from the top. Um, I know, and I can tell you they use a lot of glaze on the top because this is definitely going to flake and it's going to get all over my truck. Um, anyway, time for the first bite. I don't think I can do this one in two bites. We'll go ahead and call this one a, a large. All right, it's not bad. It um, it almost tastes like it could possibly be a little bit stale. Um, almost like it was one of yesterday's donuts. It's hard to tell. No. Yeah. It doesn't really have that like yeasty um, flavor that I like in a in a good glazed donut. It's very dense. Um, I don't know if you can see that. Very dense donut. Um, not fluffy. Uh, there's no way on earth that I could eat a dozen of these things. Mm. Definitely have to dock them points for having the glaze chip off into my lap while I'm eating. So for the glazed donut, it's still better than something you're going to get at like a major chain, like a Tim Hortons or Dunkin' Donuts. But uh, nothing really to write home about. I will say before I go too far with the review... This place looks like it's one of those places that uh, is probably not known for their simple donuts. I didn't take any pictures in there because I feel a little bit corny when I'm in a restaurant taking pictures. But behind the counter, they had some pretty good looking stuff. They had uh, like these donuts with um, Oreos on top, you know, where they, they put stuff on it and then they put the glaze on top. So they had all kinds of like kind of fun flavors and stuff. Those like really decorative donuts. So if you're into that kind of thing. Uh, this might be the place, but for like your most basic donuts so far, with the glazed donut, I think I'm going to give it a, uh, a five. Five out of ten. So now on to the long john. Alright, so this one, it actually has a lot 
of chocolate icing on top. I don't know how well you can see that. Um, it has the holes in both ends, so it should have cream going all the way through. It's got a nice weight to it. It's nice, big, heavy cream stick. I don't think I'm going to be disappointed with the size. Ooh. Oh, you can you can actually see the the cream ends right there from where they put it in. Um, I don't know if it's going to focus. So there's a little gap in the middle where there's no cream. So they're going to have to. I'm going to dock them a half a point for that off the bat. So here we go with the first bite of the Wong John. Pretty good long john. Oh, look, their bag. They actually have marketing on their bag too. Which is kind of cool. So good for them. Um, as far as the filling goes, it's it's creamy, not too sweet. I I enjoy that. Luckily I have some napkins. <clears throat> so the chocolate on top is really thick and it's got a lot of flavor. You can really taste the chocolate. The donut is like I said, it's a little bit dense, kind of like the glaze. But it's a it's a pretty good uh, cream stick. My teeth are all chocolatey right now. I don't know if I want to show you guys that. But if you look in there, that is a monster load of filling that they have on the inside of that thing. So they get points for that. This uh, this grading system that I have, I wasn't very technical when I started off. And uh, I think I'm going to start running into problems. Is anyone counting the number of bites? Because this one, it's not just because it's not just the length that makes it difficult, but the girth, due to the amount of filling in this thing, um, it's a real mouthful. So, and then a, a little bit of the cream squirted out the back. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. All right. So, I'm, my cheeks are sweating from all the sugar I just had. That stuff hits me pretty quick. <clears throat> that was a pretty good cream stick. I would say that if you went there for a cream stick or a long john, you would absolutely not be disappointed. Um, the glazed donut, kind of disappointing, but if it was fresh or if I put it in the microwave for like five seconds, probably pretty good just a little bit more dense than I would like so five out of ten on the glaze as far as the cream stick um, I don't know, I'm gonna give it a solid eight pretty good very filling um, when I go and get like something like a cream stick I want something that's gonna be filling and disgusting and uh, just gluttonous is that the right word I'm looking for um, but that that cream stick really fit uh, fit all of those categories so I'm happy with that uh, so in conclusion there is the uh, daylight donuts in Hilliard off of Cemetery Road underneath an apartment building but it's actually elevated from the road so that's this week's donut review I hope you enjoyed have a good weekend I'll talk to you soon